Robert Gutkowski. An apple you probably didn't know. An apple you probably didn't know. Robert Gutkowski. August 2011. Steve Jobs died at the age of 56. Death makes the best news. So it was a hot topic all over the world. Everyone was discussing whether he was a real IT genius or just a lucky businessman. Who knows what was Steve Jobs real like? Let's find out! Mr. Contest Chair, those masters and guests, let me share with you some of the most funny and unbelievable stories and facts from this master of beauty, lord of evil, creator of the most expensive apples in the world, Steve Jobs, based on his official biography and internet myths. Dear Apple lovers, prepare for some tough moments and unexpected truths. First surprising fact, did you know that Steve Jobs, future billionaire, was unwanted and unplanned child? His father, Abdul Fattah Jandali, was Syrian political science professor. His mother, Joanne Shibul, was American speech therapist. And he, Steve, was an accident. Fortunately for him, he got adopted by a pair of Paul and Clara Jobs. He did learn about this history at a very young age and it had a profound effect on his psychology. He was an active boy. He, he grew up in Mountain View, Silicon Valley. He was doing lots of things. He was reading lots of books. One book he read was Diet for a Small Planet by Francis Lappé. In the result of reading it, he became vegetarian, then a vegan, then a raw vegan. A quick note. A vegan is someone who doesn't eat any animal products whatsoever, typically for ethical and environment or health reasons. Jobs was brilliantly intelligent, but a difficult schoolboy. He didn't respect authorities. Worse, he didn't do his homework. And he, when he grew up, he went to Reese College in Portland, but even that wasn't for him. He didn't know what to do in life, didn't know how college would help with that either. So after a first semester, he dropped out. But that's okay. It was 70s, a hippie decade. He was listening to Rolling Stones. He was having, wearing long hair. He was walking barefoot everywhere, including work and business meetings. Even more, he didn't bathe for a week, making his co-workers and girlfriends extremely mad. But that's okay. It was 70s, a hippie decade. Jobs was famous for his usage of narcotics and he was vocal about it. On his meetings with students, after he became famous, he was asking them, how many of you haven't yet tried LSD? Hands up. How many of you are still virgins? Hands up. True story. He was, he got interested in Zen Buddhism and went on a spiritual trip to India looking for meaning of life. And apparently found it because when he came back, he started with his old friend, C. Wojniak, a company that changed the world. Apple computers. They had skills, luck, and scored big time. Apple went to stock market and Jobs became an overnight millionaire with 256 millions at the age of 25. Pretty impressive, hmm? However, he got quickly kicked out of the company he started. Why? Because he had a difficult personality. He was hot-tempered. He was using strong language. He was 
a lawyer. He was using and abusing people. He was brutally honest. On his first meeting, he told Barack Obama, you're on a good road to one election candidacy. However, I don't want to sound like saying that Steve Jobs, CEO of Apple and Pixar, created such beautiful things as iPod, iPhone, iMac, and other right things, was a jerk. No, that's too weak of a word for his freakness. Seriously. However, what's important to us Toastmasters is that he was a master of public speaking. His presentations at Macworld were famous for their brilliance and showmanship and zen factor. He was planning and rehearsing them over weeks before. Every head thing had to be perfect. And during these occasions, he popularized his signature outfit. Black, so-called mock, turtleneck sweater, sweater, blue jeans, and white New Balance sneakers. Now everyone's wearing it. Very classy. Uh, however, despite being a knows-it-all workaholic, perfectionist, IT, businessman, he had a personal life. He had many girlfriends. Pretty impressive, huh? He ultimately got married with Laureen Polo and got four children in total. On 2005, he got a pancreas cancer. He tried curing it, however it didn't work out. He slowly deteriorated in health. On 5th August, 2011, Steve Jobs died at a very young age, 56. However, despite all of his strange habits, he was very serious about death. On the very famous commencement speech at Stanford University, he said these words. You are going to die. You have nothing to lose. You are already named. Death is the very best invention of life. Don't waste your time. Your life is limited. Stay hungry. Stay foolish. <laughs>